a crocodile attack, sharks and rays headed for extinction, and a twerking spider. That and more in this week's two-minute roundup of Nature News. That is so awesome. It's official. One quarter of all shark and ray species are threatened with extinction. That's according to the IUCN, who conducted the first-ever global analysis on these species. The report says sharks, rays, and chimeras are at substantially higher risk than other groups of animals. The most dramatic depletion of these creatures can be seen in the Gulf of Thailand and the Mediterranean Sea. Sharks are vital to the ocean ecosystem. Without them, the system will collapse. Japan's annual dolphin hunt has come under fire again this year, this time with U.S. Ambassador to Japan Caroline Kennedy joining the protests. In a tweet, Kennedy said she was deeply concerned by the inhumaneness of drive hunt dolphin killing. Japan's dolphin hunting tradition was catapulted onto the world stage after the release of the 2009 Oscar award-winning documentary, The Cove. Still with dolphins, but on a much lighter note, participants in a California surfing contest got some unexpected competition when a pot of dolphins showed up. Dolphins are common in the area, but it's rare for them to approach surfers. Sure looks like they're trying to show us how it's supposed to be done. It appears that male black widow spiders and Miley Cyrus have something in common. Oh yes, it's twerking. A new study reveals how the males wiggle their butts, but not their bodies, to send a kind of calming signal to the females. I guess if you're at high risk of being eaten, you'll try anything. NASA has published an online video showing 60 years of global warming in 15 seconds. It's pretty scary stuff. Go check out the full story. A South African man is recovering after being attacked by a crocodile. The attack was caught on camera by an EarthTouch crew member while filming hatchlings at a croc farm. The man managed to escape without serious injury. You can watch the full video and find out more if you head on over to our website. Any comments? You can get a hold of us on Facebook and Twitter.